What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and another video. I still have a ton of paints left over from my last pour. So we're going to use those today. So I have titanium white. We have a, an oxide black. We have nickel azo gold. We have cadmium red deep hue and this uh, deco art 24 karat gold. Beautiful colors. So let's get going. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing great. I'm doing amazing. Having a great day right now. Just in the art room, just painting, having a great time. Don't want to create any pink, so I'm trying to make sure that that white is separated from the red. Now I'm going to let a little bit of this nickel azo gold and white come together. Beautiful colors. I used to have some black. I don't have black anymore, so. I just layered it on top. So that was exactly what I was saying I didn't want to do. But it's fine. It's all good. Everything's going to work. It's going to be perfect. What could go wrong? But I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm over here and just... <laughs> you're looking at it. I'm just painting my heart out. And having a great time doing it. If you guys haven't got a chance to use this nickel azo gold or the 24 karat gold from DecoArt, you're missing out. You should try it. It's so beautiful. And it doesn't look like it would be a nice looking color, but it actually is a very nice looking color. Let's let a little red churn through here. I know there's white right there, but that's fine. All right. So here we go. We're gonna do a straight pour with this normal cup here. And I'm actually not going to spin the canvas this time. So we're just gonna see what the difference makes. And there we go. I don't think I'm in the middle. I'm loving this colors coming out so far. Beautiful colors. It's a chilly day in Phoenix today. It's warming up as the day progresses though, so that's fantastic. I'm just waiting to see some of that white mixing with that azo gold. You're starting to see it right now. Creating almost a yellowish gold color. And you guys, I love it. Nickel azo gold does so many cool things and it mixes with so many colors, but I think based on just the way it looks, a lot of people don't want to use it just because they think it looks unappealing. It's probably the nicest way I can say that. We're just letting the, the paint just fold on itself. Create some of those really cool little lines and striations that go throughout. It's almost like a rainbow of green and yellow in that one section. I don't even know why. It's beautiful. It must be white mixing with that nickel azo gold. Creating some really cool little lines. So I'm gonna bring this cup down a little bit closer. So we're controlling what's going on here. It's not just dripping out. So now we're getting to the center of our pour. And whatever little inconsistencies and shakes that you have right now is what you will definitely see in the end. And see it dripped? I was supposed to catch that, and I did not. Caught the second one, though. All right. Well, I'm going to pop some bubbles. Let's get that done. It's pretty cool colors, though. I like them. Ooh, there's a lot of bubbles. All right. That's a beautiful, like, earthy kind of really Arizonian, I think is the term, palette. And wait, we have some white. So instead of possibly having problems later. 
Let's put them a little bit in the corners. Then you can take your stick and just spread it because the only purpose of this paint right here is to help the others slide. You shouldn't see it. It shouldn't pop up through the paint. This is just to kind of give the, the paint something to move on, to move across help you get to those corners really easy without having to stretch and stretch and spin the heck out of it or tilt the heck out of it. All right, I think we're not quite centered, so let's fix that. There we go, I think we're closer. And now we're gonna spin it. Let the magic happen. There's a lot of lines in this one. Oh my goodness. See that white helped in that corner. It's still just, it's not quite there yet. Still working on it. We're getting there. Oh my. So much color in there. All right, let's see. A little bit harder of a spin because we're getting to that edge. Didn't quite use a really uh, overabundance of paint, but I used enough. So we're just having to stretch it a little bit more than we wanted to, which that's fine. That is okay because that little white corner spinning around will get you. We're going to get you. So what I'm going to do here is I think we might have some little bit of paint left in this cup here. And I'm just going to let it drip over the corner. And it should, in theory, pull the rest with it. All right, get it good and, good and coated. And then we're going to spin it one final time. Very, very light spin. Nothing hard. So we already have the coverage we need. Now I just want to move that layer of paint off that I just put on. And I'm pretty sure we have accomplished that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I used more gold in this one than the last one. You can definitely tell. It lightened it up. I think there's also more white, which is perfect. Love it. Let me get you guys down here. We're going to check this thing out. Mm. So I'm recording this with the flash on. So you can see these just really, really brilliant bands of gold that go throughout the entire thing. Yeah, it does make a difference whether you spin it while you're doing the pour or when you don't. There's the center, just the beautiful, brilliant little centerpiece. I love it. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.